here with the 96 ZJ and my small project for the day is replacing the crankshaft vibration damper which most people know is the harmonic balancer. I'm not going to hold you guys up too long so let's get started by first disconnecting the negative battery cable. The damper is located behind the crank pulley so we'll need to remove the clutch fan and shroud assembly to free up some space to work. There's just two fasteners on the shroud and you'll need a 10mm socket for removal. My Jeep has the clutch fan, so I'm using the gear wrench fan clutch service kit. I'm going to gloss over this part, but I'll leave my review video, which gives you a more in-depth look at how to use this tool in the description below. Once you crack the fan nut loose, you can easily spin it off by hand. Make sure you're holding on to it though so it doesn't drop and damage your radiator. Then carefully remove the fan and shroud together. And now we have plenty room to work. So I'll start by removing the six fasteners on the crank pulley using a 13 millimeter socket. And I'm leaving the belt on for right now to help hold everything in place. Now we need to remove this crank bolt, so I'll be using a 32mm socket for removal. And just in case you're curious, a full size impact wrench like this M18 Hot Torque is too big and won't get the job done unless you remove the radiator. So for a guy like me with no air compressor, this half inch stubby really comes in handy. Bruh. When you remove the bolt, make sure this washer comes with it. And now I'm removing the serpentine belt using a 15 millimeter socket to turn the tensioner clockwise towards the driver's side. Now you have a good look at the rubber ring that went bad and caused the two halves to separate, but we have no problems, only solutions. This is my harmonic balancer puller and installer set. I'll leave a product link in the description below and go more in depth in the upcoming review video. But for now, I'm just going to tell you how to get the job done. You want to grab the puller flange and the puller body is already threaded onto the puller screw. So grab this adapter and these three fasteners and start by threading the adapter into the crankshaft. Then thread the puller screw onto the adapter. Next, push the puller flange over the puller body with the flat side facing the radiator and thread these three fasteners through the puller flange and into the damper. Once you get the fastener snug, you may notice the flange is loose, so just turn the puller body to the left to tighten it against the fasteners. And from there, I'm using an adjustable wrench to continue loosening the puller body, which gives us our pulling effect while holding the puller screw stationary with the 16 millimeter wrench. The replacement damper I'm using is Mopar part number 53020229, which fits all Jeeps and Dodges with the 5.2 liter V8 motor. These motors are internally balanced, and as the engine operates, harmonics from the combustion resonate through the crank, and this part absorbs and removes unwanted vibration, which literally makes this damper a torsional shock absorber. Some common symptoms associated with failure include excessive engine vibration, misaligned timing marks, 
and weird metal noises coming from the serpentine belt area. It's also important to note that this is keyed so you don't have to worry about marking anything because if you don't have this slot lined up with the tab on the crank, it can't be pressed back on. Before installation, I like to put a little lube around the outside surface for the rubber seal and some on the inside since this is a press fit application. We will be reusing our threaded adapter, so screw that back into the crank. Then thread the puller screw back over the adapter. Then tighten the puller body down the screw and continue tightening the puller body, turning it towards the driver's side while holding the puller screw stationary with the wrench. You'll know when it's properly pressed in because you'll feel it bottom out and won't be able to tighten it anymore. 